lives lost to gunshot wounds have been on the rise following negligence from medical facilities and most especially the request for police clearance before treating shot victims. But this may change if the recent directive from the police authority that prior approval is no longer needed before advancing treatment. In this special report, our health correspondent find out where the lapses are. This is an erroneous assumption that every gunshot victim is an armed robbery escapee, whom in essence needs a police clearance before treatment. This has placed medical personnel in conflict with their Hippocratic oath, which seeks to first preserve lives. After you have stabilized this person, so now go for definitive treatment. Definitive treatment means that there's a bullet in the body. You have stabilized, it's not dying again, but you need to remove the bullet. Yeah. While you are doing all that, then you cannot process uh, police reports. It's only the one that leaves that you can make law or litigation away. Instances abound where doctors were docked for offering services to victims of gunshot wounds, but this seems to be changing. The new treatment protocol demands that doctors notify the police within 24 hours of administering treatment on a gunshot victim. Compulsory treatment and care for victims of Gunshot Act 2017 makes some provisions in this regard. The same law also states that the people around passerby should give assistance to gunshot victims to be able to assist them to the nearest I mean, um, hospital so that they can access care. He also says punitive effects, punitive measures are also in place should any of this be flaunted. Same goes with the fact that he is supposed to give a certification on behalf of this patient that he is now ready to answer the police. The 16 sections of the act never address who pays or bears the laws of unpaid treatment given to these victims. I think it's a work in progress. Things can be, this discussion can go on and in so that we can come to, to terms so that the doctors too will feel very comfortable to expend their resources to be able to save lives. And that's what we're talking about, insurance scheme. Health insurance scheme is what is used all over the world, except in Nigeria where it's not really working for us effectively. Health care providers suffer a lot of setbacks, and that's why it's always a business that runs down on account of things like this. So basically, you do to a, life, to a particular point where you know that at this point, I've been able to stabilize this person's life. So go further. You don't really need people that are going to be responsible for further management. Though the police must say it is a duty of medical facilities to first save lives. The shortcomings as regards losses incurred by unpaid treatment bills is one that should be addressed quickly. Modupo Lua, Shore Meko, Silverbird News 24.